All right, guys. Hey, I'm going to test out this free will um, ND filter. I'm going to go with the 16 today. It's pretty bright, but it's not super bright where I need a 32 or higher. So we're just going to test this one today. Uh, and then we'll talk a little bit more about the other filters that were sent to me by free will. So let me go ahead and get this thing up in the air. We'll get this thing started up here. So far it's telling me there's a plane going by, which, uh, all right, just left the, just left the, off the map here. So, so that's working. That's good. That sensor's working. I was having a little bit of trouble with this, um, when I first got it. So this is actually going to only be my second flight with it. Um, I sent it to DJI and I was having uh, firmware issues. None of the sensors were working and I was losing transmission pretty, pretty quick too. So let's see if they fixed all that. And I'm going to test out that ND filter and see how well it works. So let's go ahead and take this thing up guys. I'm going to go ahead and uh, start the film here. All right, let's see if I can get this started here. Here we go, recorder is starting. I have 11 satellites, so let me go ahead and uh, take off here. All right, I hear the sensors this time. So they did fix the sensors, sensors on this. It's a little quiet, but I did hear them for a second. So that's good. Before they weren't working. I'm gonna go ahead and double check in here, but everything should be on you guys. Probably should uh, do a screen recording here. Again, seven mile an hour gusts. All right, got my screen recorder going. Um, I'm gonna stop the film for a second. I'm just gonna double check everything here in the settings. All right, it looks normal. Everything looks good. Return to home for emergency. I'm just kind of going through this real quick, you guys, just to make sure. All right. Yeah, I think everything's good to go. Air sense is on, so. All right, we're gonna go ahead and take off, start the recording again, you guys. Let's see how well this, uh, See how well this ND filter works and see how well this thing flies too here. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm gonna go out this way so I'm not going over the neighbors here. So far so good. A little bit of haze out there from the smoke, but it did uh, reside quite a bit, you guys. It was pretty bad. Okay, I'm going to go about 300, almost 400 feet there. I'm actually above uh, a couple hundred foot incline, so I can actually go a little higher, but I just wanted to check it out. Also, I wanted to test out... I also wanted to test out the zoom as well, so let's see how this zoom's working here. Oh, that is nice. Wow, that's awesome. What a difference. Got an unmanned aircraft coming right now, but uh, it's pretty far away and I'm below, I'm below the, uh, the flight path and I'm away from the flight path anyways, cause I, I've uh, checked the map on Kitty Hawk and their route is not too close to here. So I'm actually doing really well, but man, that zoom is pretty neat, you guys. I'm gonna zoom up some more. Yeah, that's pretty neat. So now you can really see that's Moss Landing Power Plant, you guys. And uh, that's the pg e Power Plant. So that provides uh, electricity to a lot of places around here. I hear the airplane and it's actually going that way. So we're not in a flight path at all. So let me go ahead and unzoom this again. I just want to kind of zoom out. 
That is really neat. I like that zoom. That's awesome. We're still doing good. I don't see no hawks or anything around me, so we're in, we're in good shape this time. Let's go ahead and take it out a little bit more here. Just kind of want to see. Looks like I'm just below. I'm below uh, uh, 300 feet. I was looking at the distance by accident there, so I'm going to take it up some more so I can still see the drone. We'll stop about right at about 300 feet so I can still see it. Maybe go up a hair more. All right. I'm going to go ahead and look over to the right. Do a slow pan here. That ND filter is working really good. I only have it on auto, so you can adjust that, you guys. Yeah, that looks really nice. And I went a thousand feet with no problem before it was already trying to return to home. I was losing signal. Let's look down at the slough a little bit here. All right, I'm gonna push forward a little bit more. I don't really want to do too much of like a range test. I just wanna, I just wanna kind of do a little flight and try out the zoom. Go look at this slough over here. Just glad the smoke has settled down over here in Monterey County, so that's really neat. Let me go ahead and zoom in to the slough here. That ND filter is working really nice. 16 was a really good choice on this one. So, yeah, that's that's really neat. That's pretty neat to be able to see the slough like that. I'm gonna have to adjust that tripod mode here. Go a little slower, but you can see cars going by now with the zoom. That is pretty cool. I'm gonna go ahead and I want to zoom out, and then I want to look down. Still got great signal. They definitely did something. They fixed the firmware on this one because before I'm gonna put in tripod mode. Uh, before it was, uh, I wasn't getting no signal. If you guys seen my video before, so I'm gonna just kind of look down here. I'm gonna try to go back over uh, towards our property here. I just want to zoom and see how well this works. That is pretty neat. That is awesome. I really enjoying that zoom. That's pretty neat, you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and go back. It's gonna come back towards me here in a second. But you know, 1200 feet is pretty darn good. I don't need to go any further than that because I can still see the drone, so. But definitely, uh, it's got a nice solid signal now. Let me bring it down just a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and turn around a little here. I'm trying to get in the shade here. I'm gonna look down just a little bit. There we go. I'm gonna go, looks like I'm getting kind of close to the neighbors here. Let me put it in normal mode. I don't want them to think I'm looking at them there. Let me get back over towards the house here. Go to the top of our hill here. There we go. Here it comes. I'll look down on our path here. That is pretty neat. That is really neat. So far, everything's working good, you guys. Yeah, I really like this. It's it's working. It's working great. So it's you know definitely uh, you know it's definitely uh, they definitely fixed it. So I'm glad DJI fixed this thing because uh, before it was uh, it was just not uh, getting any signal. None of the sensors are working. There's four times zoom. So that's pretty neat. Go ahead and pan back out again. 
So that's a really neat uh, firmware update. I know I keep saying it, but having a zoom on here is just awesome. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and look back up here. And then uh, kind of want to see what it looks like looking out at the haze there. Now you can still see the smoke here. That's looking out towards Fremont's Peak over here. So I'm going to go and zoom in on that so you guys could see that. Let me bring the height up a little bit here. There we go. See if we can see out here to Fremont's Peak. You can barely see the mountain there. But there's still a lot of smoke out here. It's just up a little higher today. So uh, I'm sure it'll be back again. We just get little uh, brief uh, brief uh, air pockets where we can actually uh, breathe for a second. So, all right. Well, that's a pretty good test, you guys. I'm not going to go much further on this. Uh, check out the free will. Uh, I'll leave a link down in the description, you guys. Uh, I'd like to go and take it to the beach, but... Uh, Right now, I have to check to see if the beach is even open. Uh, that way you guys can see the ND1000 filter. That way you can get a long, be able to get that long exposure and see the difference when the waves crash and stuff. So I will do more videos again sometime. So, but anyways, I'm gonna bring this guy back and, uh, and land it. Cause right now it's actually uh, doing really well. All right. Let me turn around here. Should be coming over me here. Right in the sun here. Oh, I'm gonna turn around here. There we go. Now oh, that is pretty neat, you guys. Look at the fields down there. How awesome is that? I want to zoom in down there real quick because that is pretty cool. Do one more zoom. With as bright as it is right now, I could probably actually go with the 32 or at least adjust my, uh, I could adjust it in to get it off of auto and do manual adjust, but there's the fields right there. That's pretty neat. Well, I'm going to go ahead and head back and we'll go ahead and land this thing. I want to check out how well the how well the landing is going to do now. Beautiful out there. So nice to be able to see a little bit of blue sky out here right now. That's awesome. So let me go ahead and return this to home. Just want to see how well this does. See how close we can get everything here. It's a coming. You won't be able to see it because of the, the sun, but it's right over me right now. Here it comes. So far, I'm a little bit off here, so that's, that's okay. I'll go ahead and cancel that out. I bring it over here. Okay, I'm gonna cancel it, but yeah, guys, working pretty good now. That ND filter works really nice. Yeah, it looks really good. Definitely a good filter right there. I like it. Starting to get a little windy again. guys I appreciate you watching here I'll do a follow-up here in a minute so the sensor is working I'm glad 
All right, you guys, so far the sensor's working great. Uh, this was gonna be for free will about uh, uh, their ND filters. I did the 16, I could probably get away with the 32, but I'll do more, uh, I'll do some more filming later. I just had to test out this drone, getting it back from DJI, and obviously they fixed the firmware, so it's pretty rock solid now, guys. So appreciate you watching, God bless. Hey everyone, I appreciate you sticking around to the end, see what comes in the package, what Free Will sent me. I just wasn't going to be able to test them all, especially when I was doing a test flight with the with the Mavic Air 2. Uh, now that the firmware issues, uh, DJI fixed it, sent it back to me. I can go and concentrate a little bit more on these filters later on. Um, there's just so many of them, I'll have to do different segments of them. But I'd like to get out to the ocean, would be better. Then you could test out that long exposure ND1000 uh, filter here, which is super dark, you guys. You can see it's really dark. So it's a nice filter for that long exposure. So you get that blurriness when you want to take a picture of like waves and things like that. I may not really use that. I'll, I'll test it, show you guys. but. That's something that I don't particularly use. I'm more into like the ND16 and ND32 standard. But this pack right here, uh, Free Will sent me, actually has, it's an eight pack. So you got the standard, um, you got your standard right here. So you got a couple standard here. So what is it? Uh, I think it's, uh, well, it's hard to read, so small. Um, this one is ND16, there's a 16, then there should be a 8, and then uh, 32 I believe, so let me look, ND, no, ND4, 8, and 16, I apologize. Then you got your uh, CPL, then you also got um, these Polaroids, so you got them, uh, you got, on these ones are, uh, this one's 8, 16, 32, and 64, so... I like to try those out when I get to the beach, so I'll definitely do different segments that way you guys can see these filters in action, but I'm not going to do it all in one video, that's too much. But, you know, they give you this cool little booklet, it tells you about the filters, got a little cleaning pad in there. So there's a booklet, cleaning pad, the warranty cards, and some stickers, so uh, that's what the other pack has in it, so that's pretty cool, they send that to you. Uh, I wanted to show you that these are actually pretty easy, and this is pretty durable to touch. I know a lot of people kind of get scared. Let me get in the light. Some people get a little, you know, scared touching the gimbal and stuff, but super simple to take off, you guys. So, you know, just hold on to the camera and twist to the left, and this little plate comes off. There's no glass in it, just a plate. And then what I'll do is I'll grab the ND1000 since it's in a single pack. It'll be easier for me to grab here without touching the top. All right. Apologize for the shakes here. Okay, so this will just, you'll, you'll do the same thing. So you're going to come at it at an angle here, like the way you took it off. So let me get this lined up here. Come on now. Here we go. Get this lined up, and then you just twist it. There we go. It is on, you guys. All right, so simple as that. It's pretty quick and simple. So I'm kind of just working at a weird angle. I got the camera in front of me, so it's hard for me to see. But that's it. And then you can just put your plate back on. Then you got the cleaning wipes. You can wipe it off. And away you go, you can have it back to standard. So, but that's basically it, you guys. All right, Free Will, thank you so much for sending these out for a review. Guys, if you're new to the channel, definitely hit that like and subscribe. Hit the notification so you can see more videos like this um, that way you could see more of the the tests with these ND filters in the near future so again free will I appreciate you sending this out guys a link down in the descriptions where you can buy these on Amazon you guys be safe out there I really appreciate your support you guys are awesome be safe out there God bless